Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make your own peerless uh, watercolor palette that I designed and it's a very simple one, the one on the internet is a fairly good one and I even made one with a pocket and everything but uh, it was too simple and I didn't like the transparent foils so I made myself something a little bit more comfortable for me so I'll show you how it fits into my uh, traveler journal which I made it for that purpose okay this is it actually it's the other way around <laughs> okay so this is it you can see it fit it fits very well. I'll take it out. Mm. Okay. So a little bit about it, you can use either like whatever fabric you want or cover you want as long as it's bendable and the transparent foils are off because I made little bridges you cannot see it but a little I think it's two millimeter high bridges fences so they won't when you close it the watercolor don't touch it, each other and um, that's it it's very comfortable uh, I added a little palette so you can either mix your paper mix your color or you can put a little sponge here and again you can close it and it's very comfortable and you can design it however you like and you you can notice the little holes over here I'll explain them later so I'll just go straight to the tutorials now I hope you like it okay so first of all you have to 3D print my design. I'll link it below in a FabLab or uh, whatever method you find. Then glue the little pieces into the fabric of your pick. Pick something nice and bendable. It can be whatever. Uh, you don't have to glue it very strongly, but it has to have a four millimeter gap between the two pieces because each piece is two millimeter thick so it has to be f at least four millimeter in order for the palette to close then just sew it use the little hole I made that I showed you earlier in order to like it should be your reference and if you really do it straight and use the hole correctly the other side uh, the side of the uh, fabric should look really nice so I even picked like a thread that will show on the other side because I liked that detail detail um, this process may take a while don't forget to glue the plastic into the fabric now it's only for it's only to make the sewing process easier uh, because you know that it won't shift and you won't have any bumps in in the design in the final project look occasionally on the other side to make sure your lines are straight after you finish with the sewing just use a simple knife or scissors whatever and cut the extras Make sure not to cut the extras of your fingers, you'll need them for your next project. Very important. After finish, after you finish cutting it, just admire, look how good it looks on the other side. If you use a hole, it will really look half professional. <laughs> um, next time, just cut the peerless palette. Um, in my design, the plastic fences are 25 on 25 millimeter, so you should cut it at 24 on 24 millimeters. Okay, 
this is very important because it has to fit perfectly or the little color will stick out and then make each other dirty. Um, the color for the palette should be like, the little guidelines, color samples, however you want to call it. Should we should be also 24, but on four millimeter. Okay, um, cut it exactly. Now you can. This part of the tutorials is nothing new. You can find it all over the other tutorials on the internet about how to make yourself your own palette. Just remember the sizes. It's meant 24 on 24 millimeter, on 24 on four millimeter. This part is very important. And just make yourself, you know, the palette. Painting, painting, painting. Um, this is designed for the 40 color palette. Uh, I know there are more colors and there are some palettes that are less, but I found that, you know, 40 colors is just perfect for me for my needs so I made it a 24 but like the 41 but if you want something else maybe you can tell me and I can design it smaller or bigger it is a perfect size to fit into my traveling journal and made into my sketchbook um, yeah finish coloring it next step is cutting it again make sure not to cut your fingers by mistake the way to use by the way a, a ruler a cutting ruler is with the high end with the knife so it won't hit your finger and it has little fences and you're supposed to put your finger on the other side of them so they won't cut your finger if your knife jumps. It's not a lot of people know it, but this is the right way to use the ruler. And then cut it, make sure to put it in the right order. Okay, gluing. Uh, you can use whatever glue you like. I use scotch because I thought it will react good with the paper. The only thing to remember here is make sure that it won't be higher than one and a half millimeter because again the point here is to make the colors as flat as possible so they won't touch the color in the other side of the paper. This is a very important point. Um, some more gluing, a lot of gluing. got a lot of color on my hands afterwards when I washed my hands it came out purple okay fast forwarding to the other side it actually doesn't take so long to make it just looks long and this is really the fun part of gluing it I think now finishing just to make sure everything is, is glued straight and flat into it. Then this is a part of admiring my work. Oh, I finished it. I like this part and making sure everything just fit perfectly into my journal and sketchbook. This is like the, the highlight of when you're creating something. Look how well it looks. So thank you for uh, listening and watching my tutorial. I hope it will be helpful and I hope you will enjoy my Pyrrhus palette and just have fun and be safe. Bye!